Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to be uh, jumping into Blender and we're going to be doing UV unwrapping and applying textures onto a mesh for hopeful importation into Unity. So let's get started. So I have my startup file here and I'm just going to actually press A to select all, delete everything, uh, start with a clean palette. I'm going to switch the render mode from Splendor Render over to Cycles Render. Don't forget this step. So I'm in Cycles Renders now, and now I'm going to create a new cube by pressing Shift A to bring up the Add menu, and we're going to click Cube and create our cube. Now let's just drag it onto the ground floor there. All right, excellent. Next step, we are going to unwrap this cube. So we're going to take this 3D object and unfold it into a 2D object. So I'm going to go up here to View Modes. We're on Default currently. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to go to UV Editing. And it's going to open up two windows here. We have our 3D view over here on the right, and we have a 2D view over here on the left. So on the right-hand screen, I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to press Tab to go into Edit Mode, and then I'm going to press U for Unwrap, and I'm going to click Unwrap. And uh, over here on the left-hand side, we actually have all six faces of the cube. You might only see one, but if you take this face and grab it, you can see there are several faces there. They're all just stacked on top of each other. Excellent. So next, I'm going to go to Open here on the left-hand panel. I'm going to go to the desktop where I have already downloaded a texture that I want to use, a wooden crate texture. I'm going to click on that wooden crate and go to Open Image. And then you can see your texture over here on the left. You won't notice it here on the right yet. We'll get to that in a bit. So once you've done that, we can go back to Default View Mode up there. And now what we need to do, let's go back to object mode, uh, is we need to actually add that textures into the materials panel, which is very important. So over here on the right hand side of the screen, uh, we're going to click on the material option here. It looks like a little sphere with a checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to click on the materials thing. I'm going to add a new material and I'm going to change its color. And now we don't want it to be a solid color. I actually want it to be an image. So I'm going to click on the little dot next to color and we are going to add an image texture. We'll open. Go back to my desktop where I got my wooden crate saved. And now we have our, uh, you can see, if you click on preview, you can see what the little material looks like right there. Uh, so now I'm going to select my object here. I'm going to go into edit mode, select it, and I'm going to assign that material. Go back to object mode, and then we will switch the view mode over to texture. And there we have it. We have a cube with a wooden crate texture applied to it. Uh, we'll do another video at a later date on how to bring that into Unity. Uh, but for now, that's all we have. All right, see you later.